Another reason to ease up on the gas pedal in the district. Traffic cameras are now issuing tickets with hefty fines attached, effective today. But the tickets aren't just for speeding. Richard Reeve is live in Northwest to tell us what it's all about. Rich. Well, yeah, Candace, we're at 15th and Constitution. It's one of the busiest intersections in the city. And take a look right across the street. One of those speed cameras, you see that red dot there kind of flashing. But this is much more about speed. It's about drivers who blow through lights or stop signs, oversized vehicles, people who block intersections. And boy, oh boy, there is a big debate about these cameras. If you have the need for speed in the district, be aware. I think DC drivers in general, I've noticed, don't pay as much attention to the rules as in other places. These silent sentinels, 132 of them, are now up and running. It's, I definitely think it's been safer for us running today. I'm looking forward to them being out there, especially now the weather's nicer. Not surprisingly, runners and pedestrians are happy with the new traffic cameras. Sometimes you'll be you know, coming around and right or something, they won't be paying attention. You kind of have to stop, and uh, you always have to be on the lookout. The caught-on-camera violations include speeding, blowing red lights, rolling through stop signs, even blocking intersections. I think it helps deter you know, some violations, but it can get excessive at the same time. Police say the cameras equal safety. Public records show traffic deaths are down in the district from 25 in 2010 to 19 in 2012. I think it's an incredibly important way to uh, keep pedestrians and bikers safe. Um, there's too many people in the city that speed. But others argue the cameras are simply a revenue generator. The city is expected to earn about $32 million a year from these new cameras. I think that D.C. Um, tries to uh, use us as like cash cows. And there you have another quick look at what the cameras look like at night. Now, the fines range from $50 for blocking an intersection to up to $300 for speeding. You know, we had a couple of grace periods here for this, but now these cameras are live. In Northwest Washington, Richard Reeve, ABC 7 News. Yeah, and the